de hoy, la directora de Affordable Art Fair nos enseñará cómo comenzar nuestra propia colección de arte. Vengan conmigo. Cristina Salmostrelli, la directora de la feria for the Bell Art Fair. I read that you have mentioned that for you, like the most important things that happen in the art world happens in an art fair. So, well, what is the reason why you say that? Absolutely, I think that the art world is just a combination of galleries and people that work at auction houses and curators and art advisors, interior decorators, and then the visitor all coming together to celebrate art. So I feel like you have everything that would happen in the art world coming together. You have the gallery sales, you have the museum curators coming to search for new pieces to acquire. You have the art advisors coming and showing, you know, what their clients should be buying. So there's all of these things coming together and in four days everything happens. For you as a director, which are the challenges of presenting art within the reach of everybody or of every pocket? Absolutely. So obviously we have um, works that are $100,000 to $10,000 and the idea, like you said, is that affordable is a subjective word. So we really have to have a vast array of works from the lowest exactly. $100,000 to $10,000. And it's important because no matter what your discretionary income is, you can fall in love with art. You can become an art collector. For a person who is starting a collection, which is uh, your advice on how to start buying art, how they have to pick what they are going to buy, how to uh, manage to create a collection? Absolutely. So the first thing is I would like you to look online or look on a, you know, a book of the history of art or all the different types of art movements that are happening. See what you're drawn to. Because what you need to do when you come to a fair is that there's a lot. It's overwhelming. So I want you to focus. And then before you come to the fair, I want you to think about your budget. And that will limit you down. There's still be a lot of choices. But that way, it will be manageable choices. So that's my advice. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. And to finish, uh, I know it's a difficult question for the director of the fair, but do you have some pieces we should go and look at? Absolutely. I have five amazing pieces that I picked out for you in all different ranges. So come follow me. Ah, thank you. by Adrian Negenborn and I just find it so beautiful. It's it's $1,375 and it's just the movement of the, the brush strokes and the colors that are coming together. That even though this piece is small, it's very, very dynamic. So this is by Elizabeth Laporte. And as you can see, there are maps from around the world. And it's kind of documenting that there's so many travels, there's so many life experiences, but you're making it in a very tangible and soft way as children's clothing. So it's this idea of adventure and experience, but at the same time it's very, you know, it's all about youth. And so you have that yeah. dichotomy. This is my next favorite one. It's by Janet Shrimpton. And this is very Asian inspired. Yeah. And this is in the middle price range, so this is under $5,000, it's $46.50. This is the next piece, and one of the things, one of the misconceptions here at the Affordable Art Fair is there's not any well-known contemporary artists. And this one I want to show you because this is Damien Hirst. Yeah. He is one of the most famous contemporary artists right now. And yes, he does make affordable works. This one here is $10,000. These two are really just fabulous pieces. I just, I can see the women in them, which is just so wonderful. The smile and the wrinkles. They don't look old to me. They look full of experience and wisdom and love and just happiness. And it's just confronted with this space, but it's not a scary confrontation. It's a 
scary wall for me once. I can't, again, I can't help but smile from this. Now, this is um, $2,500, so this is in the lower end price range. And this is by James Parker. Así terminamos nuestra cita de hoy en Affordable Art Fair. Te vuelvo a ver el próximo jueves y si todavía no lo hiciste, suscríbete a Cosmo Arte TV. Chao, chao.